My name is Sandra Hickman. I'm a doctor of natural medicine from Quantum University, where I got my bachelor's, master's, and doctorate in natural medicine. I think of myself as a health coach more than anything else. I don't diagnose, treat, or cure anything, and I enjoy working with people who are interested in understanding the dynamic between their physicality, their spirituality, and their emotional basis. We know from the works of doctors like Dr. Lipton and uh, Joe Dispenza that our emotions are connected to our physical aspects with biochemicals in the body. And so you have to deal with all of that from in and out throughout the being to be able to integrate healing. What I feel like I got the most out of at Quantum University, besides learning from the leaders that are integrating body, mind, spirituality together, is the ability to do research, legitimate, powerful research. And my PhD mentor was extraordinary in offering me support, direction, and establishing for me a baseline from which to speak to other professionals in other universities who are interested in accomplishing this kind of research. So it really opens the door for more research of this type, as well as helping people. When I was 39 years old, I entered an emergency room thinking that I was having a heart attack. And what I discovered was that I was having chronic stress and panic. So I went through many years of drugs, tests, evaluations, to try to address what appeared to be a potential heart anomaly, as well as the emotional factors of chronic stress. And so people know what these are, antidepressants, anti-anxiety medications, and the like, and they just made me feel worse. So I was disappointed with the medical system and that caused me to reach out and try new things. The first thing I learned was a trauma release technique, which was and still is extraordinary at helping people reduce and eliminate cellular memory that triggers a panic or a PTSD type response. When I was doing that, I needed to be more aware of energy. So I learned Reiki to be able to understand the energy body and how to help move energy for individuals. To be able to use the Reiki, I began to learn hypnosis, neurolinguistic programming, and other languaging techniques that help me position things more effectively for people to create change, as well as influence them in a way to create the healing and release the trauma. I began to use a biofeedback device and I was working with a woman that needed an organ transplant. She had a failing kidney and she had a brother who would donate the kidney to her, but she continued to fail the autoaggressive test. So they were delaying the kidney transplant and she was slowly dying. So I did some recordings for her. I did Reiki, I did hypnosis, I did recordings so that she could take the sounds of my voice so that she could take the words of the hypnosis and listen to it over and over again at home. And that resulted in an effective organ transplant and she's alive today. So I began to wonder if I could influence her with my voice and with my sounds and with the energy movement of Reiki, what else could I include in a recording that would elicit a physiological change in a response in the body. And I began to explore all sorts of biofeedback devices and techniques that include these sounds. I was disappointed with what I found. A lot of the sounds were amalgams or logarithms that just really didn't represent the actual physical substance that we're trying to influence the body with. Until I found uh, the group that I have been working with for the last uh, number of years who created a device to capture the actual physical substance of the item, then I started really seeing the results. Then I started really seeing shifts 
at the physiological and the emotional level. I've been working with digital sound remedies for about 20 or so years. These are actual physical representations of actual substance, and we capture their physical vibration, their signature, their song in a special device that's patented, and then we play those uh, to individuals or apply them through things like steel mesh pads, acupuncture needles, um, or, or just plain speakers and headphones, and it elicits the same response in the body as if they were taking the actual substance. If there were any one reason why I went to Quantum University, it was to establish a research base and protocol for how digital sounds and digital remedies actually work. I was able to prove that the sounds work the same as if you were taking the physical substance, but even further, we were able to prove that if an individual was consuming physically that substance, the effects were more long-standing. In a world where most of the listeners and most of the students already understand that these things work, but the general population that's coming to us for health and wellness to deal with their issues, they're coming in with their pain, their stress, their sleep issues, their, their issues with injuries or diseases that they've been given diagnosis with, where the regular medical system has failed giving them the appropriate solutions. That's why I do bio scans to help educate us what the body really wants. That's why I do laser treatments because it helps the energy body come into alignment with both the physical and the emotional piece. And that's what I think helps people enter more into the alternative medicine and alternative remedy uh, scenario because they are more confident knowing I'm a PhD, I'm a doctor, I have done actual research that demonstrates the efficacy of what I'm educating them about. Some people need to shift physically, physiologically with substances before they understand the emotional factors. Some people just need a light to be shine so that they can see the emotional factors that they're not embracing or not understanding. I'm passionate about helping people make those connections, bridging the gap between the known and the unknown, what they think they know and what they really know. It's a deep thing and it's powerful when I watch somebody make a transformation right before my eyes, leaving differently than they came, noticeably relieved, noticeably calmer, more equipped to handle their issues. Because Quantum University has given me the ability to demonstrate real scientific research behind what I do, it's offered me a great benefit that I didn't have prior to getting my degree. And certainly there's a greater deal of respect and consideration when you have a PhD. And so people look for more authority in that way that works to my advantage in influencing them as much as I don't like how that works against them in the regular medical system. But I think probably the thing that gave me the most benefit from Quantum University is the support I got through research to be able to substantiate and validate the efficacy of digital sound remedies.